Hey everybody, welcome to the first actual animation lesson from the cheap ass animation class. Uh, response so far has been pretty positive since the announcement video went live the other day. And uh, the only negative that I got so far was from my mother who hated the name of the class. Uh, she thought it should be called Cheap Skate Animation or something like that, but I already registered the domain and it doesn't rhyme with class, so too bad mom. Anyway, uh, we're going to start really slow um, with a pretty basic lesson um, with bouncing ball. So I've got this juggling ball for reference because it's kind of squishy and stretchy. And uh, I'm just going to go over some of the principles first before we get into the machine. Okay, so the first lesson we're going to do is bouncing ball. Now this shows a couple different principles of animation, like squash and stretch and uh, anticipation, things like that. Uh, what we're gonna what we're gonna use for reference is this juggling ball right here. Now you might say that ball doesn't bounce though, um, but actually it, it's good for illustrating what we want it to do. So um, basically, what happens when a ball bounces, um, and we're gonna we're gonna actually exaggerate this in the lesson. But anyway, when a ball bounces, uh, it comes down out of the sky or wherever it's bouncing from and hits the ground and then it recoils and then leaves the ground again. So as it's coming down we're going to stretch the ball out. That helps sell the fact that it's moving really fast. It kind of works like a, like a almost like a motion blur built in but also uh, it, it deforms the shape to show the motion and the direction it's traveling and the direction it's coming from. Then when it hits the ground the ground is going to be an immovable force. So when when all this mass hits the, the ground and the ground doesn't move, this ass end of the ball here is still moving. So it's pushing down on the ball and it's going to squish or squash like that. So you're going to get like a squash effect. And then all that pressure and everything from the ball being compressed is going to it's going to want to go back to its original form. So it's going to shoot up and it's going to stretch the ball back out again. And it's going to leave the ground. So it's going to come down stretched, squash, and then stretch again. So it's only going to be squashed really for about one frame where, and only right where it touches the ground. Now a lot of uh, beginner animations I see of stuff like this, they're not really sure where to squash the ball, where to stretch the ball. Um, you'll see them kind of squash it too early or stretch it when it's on the ground. Uh, none of that is accurate um, unless you're going for some kind of weird look. Um, it e but even then, it's not really that good. Anyway, uh, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to get the the arc of the ball. So uh, what happens when the ball goes up, you can see that it the timing on the ball is what we want to get. So when I throw it, it go I throw it just a little bit, it goes up, gravity starts to pull on it, it slows down, changes direction, and it comes back down, hits the ground again. So it spends a lot of time up here and very little time down on the ground. So it's going to go slow, faster, 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 change direction, and then slow again. So we're going to slow in to the tops and then fast in and fast out on the ground. So uh, I'll show you in the graph editor in Maya how to do this. Um, let's get started. I launched Maya and uh, I'm running Maya 7. Um, it doesn't really matter what version of Maya you're running or if you're even running Maya doesn't matter. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get set up here to work. So I'm going to uh, go into my preferences here and uh, let's see, I'm going to make it 30 frames per second and uh, that's about it there. 